This video is brought to you by TS4UIT Engineering Boot Camp. So Mr. Siblu Ahmed, uh, describe the challenging interaction you had uh, with your colleague. Uh, what the strategy is, uh, what's the technical idea you use to manage that? Um, so I think the, as I mentioned before, so we have, we have some, we, it's a very dynamic environment. One of the situation is uh, being a front-end developer, um, the being experienced uh, here, and we have uh, some the, the newbie as well. And we coach the newbie as well. And coach means we share the knowledge. So have been working for a while. If I take a user story, I of course fulfill the user story expectation. At the same time, I know the test from the business side. At the same time, I know the test from the a test means the quality from the, the project management area. So um, working in the, in the same project, I already know the, all the best practices. So um, as our new developer has been working, of course they have done fantastic job uh, to follow the user story. And then um, UI, UI development and all the good stuff. But since new, um, the business just do not put all the details on the UI, right? Because we already know some of the checklists we need to look through this uh, before we deliver anything else, right? So example, when I do a, the front end of the form, one of the checklists is make sure it has a, like the, a, uh, each, any important the field, you should have some like the tips for the user so that it is a better user experience. At the same time, it is part of the user accessibility as well. Okay, so these kind of things, since I've been working, I know it. And I have been actually, regardless it is on the UI UX or not, I actually put it on the code. So the new developer, of course, he's unaware of it. He has not been doing it. So um, the, I actually said one time and two times, I said, I know it will take a little bit time, uh, but you can do this because I will be actually approving your code. So if somebody say anything, I will be standing for you, do not worry. So that's the one-on-one -on -one coaching was. But the repeatedly, apparently, he was sticking with the UI UX, which is fine. But then business raising the concern that, okay, what happened? Uh, uh, are you coaching this, the new member? And we just cannot the change the, our UI UX and the putting all the nitty gritty details on the UI UX. Are you coaching? Uh, are you reviewing your work? And then I said, yes, I am coaching, I am reviewing, but um, he, he said he wants to stick with the UI UX. At this moment, either the, the project, the product owner or the, his team leader can actually tell him that, well, anything you do, that this person has to approve it. If he says something, if it is not in the UI UX, it's okay. Let him stand for your work. So just follow this, it will be fine. So instead of I did not join the conflict after I coach one time that actually engage and explain in the meeting to the project management team and his manager and they actually coach him and it actually the, the remaining time it worked well. Uh, he actually the set up a meeting, multiple meeting and then asked me, well, it seems like this is need to be there. This need to be there. So he actually got the idea pretty good. So beside the what we have on the UI, he actually uh, set up the expectation what according to the business. So it did work out well, and he did not do go through the any review meeting. I actually completed all the review meeting on behalf of him. 